Kimbo. See me, family. See me, see me. Kimbo, Kimbo, na tatan zambi ya mazulu. Kim fumo kiaku isa. Betwabu to all the banabetus that are scattered across the earth. Kiambote. Masakajila. Tatan zambi for this opportunity. I pray, Most High. We come before you today, Father. Then all the Malikis, the Mwanan Semi, all of the Habafundi, the uh, the Nabi, the elders. I want to give uh, honor to all of this in this diaspora. I mean, to all of the Bantu people in this awakening. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people now. There's a lot of things going on. I'm going to mention that uh, it's all about the Most High this time. And it's all about what He's doing and what He's moving. I give honor and glory to all our brothers and sisters that are moving forward in this truth. And I want to give special honor to Pastor Mello as we turned, he surfaced. Praise the, praise the Most High and all the other brothers that are involved with this as we've been dealing with a lot of how should I say, interference, I, I, I kind of figured, excuse me, that the enemy is going to run interference, and I know that, uh, sadly, it goes to show you, as I'm going to get into this message today, I'm entitling this, is it from Satan, or is it from the Most High, let me, let me reverse the order though, is it from the Most High, is it from Satan, Satani? Forgive me, reverse the order. Is it from the Most High or is it from Shatani? And I got my headset now. Hopefully, this will make things a little bit clearer as I speak. I don't have to be so loud. But still be glorified the Most High in this time. I pray Tatan Zambi Yamazulu once again that we this message will be received with the utmost. Um, Humility coming from me, and that this that's the, the utmost uh, urgency, as we see now, and as many, many have been prophesying, and I've I've actually been seeing this for for gen for years now. We are here <clears throat> at the time that we have been waiting for, where uh, Yakuba is getting ready to be flipped to the top. As many of us never knew until now, this awakening that of what all the lies of the enemy and Esau's world is getting ready to be destroyed. Excuse me. Zombie, Maguya. Zombie, Guya. That's how great is our God. Zombie, Maguya. <coughs> Sing it real quick. Zambi Naguya Zambi Naguya Zambi Zambi Naguya And sing it real quick here. Be Naguya Zambi Naguya Zambi, Zambi, Aguya. Zambi, Guya. Zambi, Guya. Zambi, Zambi, Aguya. Of course, bringing back the times I was singing in the praise and worship at the Evangelical Church. This is a lot better translation. Guya, Zambi, Zambi, Naguya. Hallelujah, Zambi, Naguya, Zambi, Zambi. Zombie, Guya, 
Haleluya, haleluya, haleluya. Haleluya. Tatanzambi. This is a this is gonna be a message. It's a tough one because uh we are living in some times that people don't even understand what's going on. We are living in a time as and the more is being more uh, more vocal about this where you can expect interference in the enemy as the time draws closer and closer and closer. This is why the Isaiah Yahweh been a Yahweh Yesu Christo made this statement and we now know that uh, sadly as many of us found out about Christianity and other religions that this scripture was referring to the people who think that they are the chosen even those who think they are real Jews who became Christians pastors and whatnot that thought they were preaching the truth as the most high is getting ready to expose many different things and I'm gonna this is why I'm gonna say this is, is it from the most high or is it from Satani because remember Satani masquerade I get into that scripture as well he masquerades as an angel of light. Um, I'm going to go over the scripture that's going to give you the understanding of the king, the true king that you're supposed to be focusing on at this time, that who's going to be leading, who is already fighting for your behalf, who was already leading us to the promised time. You know, most Christians won't even realize that what happened and what transpired in Washington, D.C. and is continuing to transpire is actually being orchestrated through the Messiah because he is the one that is, Hamasiah uh, Yesiah Congo is the one that they will make war against. And he, this is the, uh, this is the, the, the fight back. Even though the Masons might think that they have a hand in it, they don't realize that the, the instructions that the fallen angels get comes from the Most High always. And Isaiah is the one who has the power that no one can be above. He is the, own, the one king. No one can be equal to him, even though we can be his brothers, sisters. You know, as he says, my mother, my brother. Who is my mother, my brother? We can only be... An, with him, not above him, not equal to, because Yesiah Congo is the Benan Zambi of Kus of Congo, the Mosai Yapoa Yahweh, uh, Sonini, Nanini. So we're going to get into this here. Uh, this is Mat Matea to teach uh, 24, and I'm, this, this, this is a very popular scripture. And we're gonna we're gonna put it into context, as we know, and there's the Bantu awakening, into the correct context. This is what you need to understand, people. He said this clearly. They shall deliver you up to affliction and kill you, and you shall be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Everybody hates the name Congo. That's the way that they're treating the country itself. Everybody hates the name Congo. That's why, and why are you hated? Who hates you the most? Issa. Issa hates Congo because Congo hates him. Let me say it again. Issa hates Congo so because Congo hates him. Therefore, anything affiliated with Esau is going to bring death and destruction and hatred to the Banabetus. Remember, because Isai, if you remember my previous video, Esau is a Mukongo, just like Yakuba, and he knows everything about the Mukongo's teachings, even since before the time we were in Kamata, the first time that he is very well aware of the teachings today and which is why we as a people 
must come to an understanding that you it is the it is the principalities uh, that hate the most high specifically Esau that want to bring Jacob to destruction Yakuba you saw it okay which means even turning us against ourselves so like, I'll get into that more and when and then many shall stumble and they shall deliver up one another and shall hate one another so when you keep hearing this message about who sold whom into slavery who didn't sell whom who the, 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 that's why I said you have to be careful who is from Lucifer or well, the Most High and who is coming from Lucifer delivering messages Jacuba himself stumbled Yisolele himself stumbled y Yaounde themselves stumbled all the twelve tribes themselves stumbled and we delivered each other to hate one another. Do we not hate one another right now? Do we not have um, disagreements? Do we not consider one person right, one person wrong? That's why in my in this message, what I intend to do is all about bringing together unity. For and that is why the most you know, my mandate has always been from the time I started this years ago as I learned and my knowledge grew was to bring people back to the Most High and to expose the devil and how he deceives the whole world to, to, whether it, it, I know that was going to cross a lot of people it's going to cause a lot of people to hate me I know it's going to cause a lot of people to have a difference of opinion but that's the point you shall be hated not loved you shall be hated for his name's sake from other nations. But other nations, if you're not you solely laid, they hate you. They hate us. And my brother said, my brother says once heard it said they hate us because they can't be us. Okay. The problem is many Christians don't realize how deceived they become, so they think it's a hatred against Christianity. No, the hatred is that is the that is the that is the the set up of the of the of the set of the system the hatred is against yakuba period end of story the bantus and it says and many many false prophets shall rise up and lead many astray so remember the most high made Yisolele, Yakuba, like the sands of the sea. Then in the Yesaya, he's saying here, Kuswa, that the Most High is going to lead, I mean, not the Most High, but the false prophets are going to lead many astray. Many astray. And because of the increase of lawlessness, the love of many shall become cold. So right now we're seeing um, so many different uh, messages being spread that are incorporated with lawlessness. Um, people who twist doctrines, and we see that with the false Jews. People who twist laws, make things up. In order to in order promote to promote their agenda, okay, in order to promote their agenda. Therefore, this is why you do not receive very much um, consideration as a Bantu or or your black man in this world because you are hated, and this and this black man they hate black men. That's why, you know, people will continue want to put the, there's a reason why Esau, remember, this whole story, this, what people understand is Esau calling himself, Esau being called the white man is coming from Esau himself. Let me say it again. Esau being called the so-called white man is coming from Esau himself. 
Esau is anybody who hates the Most High. How do you hate the Most High? Lawlessness, disobedience. Okay. How do you hate the Most High? Lawlessness, obedience, or disobedience, worshiping of false idols. Remember, one of the things people forget it was the Most High who said we would be worshiping gods of wood and stone. So He is the He is the source of why the Bantus are worshiping idols. Okay, and who is guiding us to that process is the false is Esau, who He hates. Esau loves to see us worshiping the false idols just like he did. Okay? And also becoming a false idol himself. So, it says here, But he who shall, who shall have endured to the end shall be saved. So our endurance is for us to not fall prey to many of the deceptions now that the Most High is awakening his people. Even then, you know, when, when Simon Toko was teaching, and of course, as I've now learned, you know, this is the key thing, was to make sure people stay the course of what's being taught. To continue to focus on what is the intention here, the ultimate desire of the Most High is to make us one nation once again to make you solely one nation and this means the point is the one place you call Israel if that was one nation you don't see the people fighting amongst themselves today you won't see the war stricken poverty that continues to plague the so called land of Israel you won't see the broken buildings and the desert like um um that they have to make things to make it look like it's the land of, of a promise. Broken down buildings that really should be re, re, re-established. So that tells you having to look to other people for help. Tatanzambi says when you solely lay his home, we don't have to look for anybody else to help. When Israel is back home, there's no need for looking for help. We are his help. We have everything we need. So once again, we live in a time where um, many are using the scriptures for their own purpose. Many are using their understanding, leaning on their own understanding. Because the Most High is saying to all of us, we haven't been gathered yet. The point is to be gathered. That's why I'm going to get into the part about the messengers. Okay. <clears throat> so when you see the abomination that lays way spoken of by Daniel, the Nabi, put up in the Mikdash. See, right now, there's a physical abomination. We talked about that in 70 AD. That was in the temple. But you also have a spiritual abomination that's going to be put, that's going to be put up that's why the most high says time to flee and get ready to flee because the abomination that has been put inside of us the false messiah system is about to crumble is about to fall we're seeing that as we as very just today with all of the things that's happening around America and the world right now Now, let's go, and I don't even said this to my wife because the days have been indeed been short and it seems really weird because it's, it's, the sun is not coming out normally like it does around this time and it says, and if those days, it says, for then there should be great distress such as not been since the beginning of the world until the time nor ever shall be. So you're seeing right now, there's a lot of distress. Uh, hospitals overwhelmed uh, wars raging non-stop um, you see distress of nations and their leaderships so much uh, distress 
uh, distress in the families, people dealing, find, trying to figure out how to make ends meet. This is Jacob's trouble. We're seeing many distresses going on today, the distress among the awakened of those who are trying to figure out where to go with, when all the chaos comes. Remember, the enemy comes to bring chaos because his order will follow after the chaos. That's, the, that's why his people follow that mentality. Okay, the, order, the point is to create chaos is what the enemy wants. So we have distress of nations because of the chaos that we see. We see volcanoes, earthquakes, all kind of stuff starting to happen. The distress of nations as the earth, as the Most High begins to bring everything anew, to renew, renew his creation. Okay. And if those days were not shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the sake of the chosen ones, those days shall be shortened. So the Most High is shortening these days for the chosen. You see it right now happening. Uh, the enemy knows his time is short. So he's going to do everything and whatever he can. And it says, if anyone says to you, look, here he is in the, here is Hamasiah or there. Do not believe, for false messiahs and false prophets shall arise. And they shall show great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the chosen ones. So when we look at what happened in this awakening, we were given the revelation of Simon Toko as the child of Revelation 12. And one of the things that Simon Toko, as I understand, emphasized was he was pointing out how many people were the false, Masai, false prophets. Who, what, how the churches that were teaching false truths and what makes them false, okay, is what is their intention? Is their intention to bring knowledge and understanding of the truth of, the, of Isaiah, the truth of uh, the Mwandan Semi, the truth of Tatanzambi and Pungu Tulendo, the truth of the Banabetu, and to understand that it's about unity and about strength in numbers which is one of the things why the enemy has always tried to keep Yakuba divided because there are strength in our numbers or is this person having their own personal agenda trying to glorify himself trying to make himself seem like he is the most important of all things okay because the Messiah walked in humility not boastfulness, but humility. He taught each person to walk after him in humility, to humble oneself before the Most High. Okay? To be a person who decreases while the Most High increases. To understand what Tatanzambi truly wants of his nation versus what people want to think he wants. But could say the, the scriptures say uh, Isaiah Isaiah says his thoughts are not our thoughts. That's the biggest problem we have in this awakening, even now. His thoughts are not our thoughts. That is why we have to be careful of the messenger and the message that's being brought to you. Because now comes a time when many shall arise. Whew. Excuse me. Sorry many shall arise to bring uh, destruction upon this awakening upon the, 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 the togetherness many will cling to their old ways because they don't understand that the old, that our ancestry even before slavery did many of the things that we consider to be crazy now because of all the mind manipulation okay And he shall send his messengers with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his chosen ones from the four winds, from one end of the Zulu to the other. And of course, Pastor Mello pointed this out. Aye nakami tunaka, aye nakami tunaka, Zambio nakami tunaka. The, the Malikis would be singing this song as they gather. And no one really understood what they're talking about 
because they're going to be referring to a particular group of people that know this. The, cho the chosen ones will understand. That's why Christianity, they're going to hear certain things and going to be like, what is that song? I don't understand this song, but those of us who have been bringing knowledge to it will understand what's going to happen. Because the Most High knows the chosen of the as a Bantu, why would he not have the chosen be collected as a Bantu with a Bantu a song? Why would he? This is not gonna be. They think it's just be regular trumpet sounds, you know. Like the Most High said, the tares are gonna have one understanding, and the wheat they're gonna have another. So what I'm saying is, and I'm gonna go back to, as we look at that. The Most High is saying. He's going to send out messengers. So here's what we have going on in this awakening right now. The Most High, Isaiah, um, has not. Remember it says, he and he shall send his messengers. So Isaiah is in control of all the messengers of the Zulu. The true king. Isaiah Yes, we, Yesu Christu, Kuswa Kongo, is in charge of the messengers. That's why when you become like him, the messengers will actually do what you are requesting of them. You will demonstrate power. That's why you become an invincible force. And I'm going to get into that scripture here in a minute, what that means. You will become an invincible force before the nations. This is why you become a concern for many because you will be able to expose and, and see things others cannot and do things others cannot and do unexplainable uh, that make you that make people want to claim witchcraft every time they hear it or see it so when you go from there we're going to go to 1st Corinthians chapter 15 starting from verse Let's see, 47. The first man was of the earth, earthy. The second Muntu, a man, Muntu, is the Adan from the Zulu. As the earthy, so also, though this is of course the Hallelujah scripture. As the earthy, so are also those who are earthy. As the Zulu, so are those who are of the Zulu. So here's the thing. To be with Isaiah means you are like the heavens, you are like the Maleki, you are the Zulu, like the Zulu. The opposite of that is to be of the world, is to be earthy, like Adam, and all those who have been carnal minded or, or con considered to be of this world. That's why it says, be not of this world, but be transformed by it. Because their transformation is to become from the earthy to the to the Zulu to the heavenly okay and as we have born and that's why it says as a as a Bantu Benduela as, as the as Bantus as Muntus uh, we must remember that this is about bringing us to the knowledge of ourselves that this scripture is referencing Bantus, not Christians, Bantus, the chosen of Yusolele, the 12 tribes, okay, they come first, that's, that's why salvation is of Yaoundé, of the tribe of Yusolele, the tribe of Yusolele, the Jews, that's why it won't be just now when the Most High Course sends the messengers, it will not just be the messengers of the heavens. It's going to be a lot of messengers. This is why we're giving the warning now, why we're getting people prepared, because now many of us are going to become like the Malakis to go out and do this thing. And now here's where, here's where we get into this. As we have born in the likeness of the earthy, we shall also bear the likeness of the Zulu. How do you bear the likeness of the Zulu? Yusaya Kongo. 
you have to be in Isaiah Congo. The king, the king of kings, Lesa La Lesa. Lesa Malesa. Okay. The Tanzambi, the Bonanzambi, the Benanzambi. Okay. Stop thinking the way Christianity has taught you. To wait for this, looking up for this mighty presence. You have to get ready for the fact that we all pay or play a role in what's going to happen in this next portion. Those are the chosen. Many said many are called, but few are chosen. Okay? So we have to understand that that it says we shall bear the likeness of the Zulu. We, be, we only bear the likeness of the Zulu with the Mwanda. Period. Because the Mwanda is spirit. 100% spirit. So with the Mwanda being 100% knows, people don't understand, this is where Christianity and many other people have not understood the people who are selling this awakening. The Mwanda can do all things. This is why you can move, you can literally throw a tank across the world with the Mwanda. You can literally lift an aircraft carrier up out of the water and have it be pitched on dry land. You can literally um, walk with so much power as the ground to cause it to shake. You can create the earthquakes. This is why when I read this next portion in this Bound to Awakening, why they, they mocked us as the X-Men. That Stan Lee made a mockery of the Bantu with X-Men. The power of the Mwanda that will allow you to walk through walls, allow you to become re resistant to bullets, like bulletproof, you change, your skin changes, no penetration. You be able to read what people are saying about you and don't even have to, they don't even have to open their mouths. Okay. People don't understand, this is the power of the Mwanda. Which is why there are so many who are going to be exposed who are not doing what they've been called to do. But instead are, are pushing their own agenda. And you will see this as we go forward. More and more of this starting to happen. It says, In this I say, brothers, that flesh and blood, flesh and blood, is unable to inherit the reign of Elimo. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. So if you are living, and this is even for myself, okay, when we do think, and I know Mikhail Massa, he spoke about this, where he said, that when we do things, just like when David Dawidi did something wrong with uh, the 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 um, husband of um, oh my brain is not working today. Um, oh gosh, when 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 Dawidi did what he did was wrong. Okay, he put. Wow, John the Bright today. My my apologies. I know money you just shouting it in my ear right now. It's, it's been a long day. It'll come to me.
Bathsheba. My apologies, Bathsheba. <laughs> okay, I'm back on track. <laughs> One of those days. Why am I doing a blank? I have no idea. Uh, Bathsheba. And he was not living in the spirit at the time that he did it. He was doing his own lust. So that's the thing that when we do things, we shouldn't be doing our own lust. We are not living in the spirit at the time that we're doing it. That's why it's important to afflict your flesh daily in order to walk in the spirit. Of course, with us being in a land of captivity. And this is why I have made this very clear. In every cap, the, the devil has been there for every captivity that we have been in. So he has known how to manipulate it so that the, this final captivity was invisible to us. Let me say it again. To where we didn't know we were being manipulated. Now, when you look at every captivity we've ever been in, when is the true power of the Most High manifested? When we're getting ready to leave. So you're going to see that when the time comes to leave will be when you see the manifestation of the moon to ben on, ben on zombie and his power manifest through us and the one that sent me to bring us and break us free of this land of captivity. Where people will, this is where you're going to get their stories where they're going to try to tell the, the Gentiles, the liars, the people that don't know oh no, this is an alien attack, this is this, this, you know, all kind of excuses. So as not to tell the world, oh, this was always Jacob, until the Most High brings it to flourishing. Okay. So, many people are going to be exposed when the Most High starts to bring out this revelation. Many of the false prophets will be exposed. Because the power, and this is where we get into. See, I speak a secret to you. A secret. We, the Benanzambis, the Muntus, the Bakongos, the Bantu people, Yusolili, Yakuba, and those who have become a part of this system. We, not the Christians, the religious people, we shall not all sleep, which we know that sleep means being the earth dead, but we shall be changed. So you will become from a mortal blood-filled body to a spiritual body. Okay? Okay? In a moment, in the twinkling of eyes. So the minute you blink your eye, you go from being mortal to being spiritual. Of course, the we is referring to whom? The chosen of Tatanzambi and Pungu Tlendo. The chosen. Those who have been, been brought to receive the secrets of the Most High through his language. That's why language, the language is most, why we had to be stripped of it through the revelation of this truth, through the understanding of who we are as a people. We will be changed in a moment at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Now this is the uh, the dead. Those of us who walk in in physical death. See, this is how this Christianity can misinterpret so many things. Those of us who walk in a dead world. See, the problem is the world doesn't know it's dead. So many people walking around in the carnal flesh. So many people walking around in the system, thinking that they're living a life. When they're really spiritually dead, even because the devil can all the devil can look like a nice guy. Hey, what's up, homie? Chilling, yeah, cool. What's up? 
and you think, you know, or smiling, hey, what's happening, man? How you doing? The devil can be smiley, smiley can be, every, you know, but that doesn't necessarily mean you are spiritually alive. Mimic. People can mimic what they think is true. If they believe it up here, they'll believe it. Oh, yes, I'm so old. Thank you, Jesus. The, the Lord, our Savior, you know, I have, I have the Holy Spirit, blah, 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 blah. Oh, he has blessed me with so many things. Not saying it hasn't happened, but the point is, many are mislead, misled by false prophets. Because why? Where is the power? Okay. Let's get into that scripture that talks about. Let me finish this point, then we get into that scripture. It says here, we shall be raised incorruptible so that means no more can we be corrupted by those who are creating problems and we shall be changed for this corruptible has put on incorruption and corruption and the mortal to put on immortality so the Mwanda makes you immortal With the spirit of the Moanda, it makes you immortal. It means no matter what they do to your body, your spirit will never die. But many of us will go from the transformation of being like this to being spiritual beings. And you're going to look, people are going to be like, whoa, what is that? Is that an alien or something? Is that what they're talking about? This is why it's important to put in people's mind the deception for when the reality hits that you are not the chosen, how do you explain that? This is why so many people are going crazy over what's going on in America. That can even our own people because we don't know what's going on really. This is all deception. This is preparing for the transition. This is preparing for the transition for when the, the dead world separates from the living world. Forever. We're transitioning from where the living, the most high, the wheat, forever separate from the tares. Okay, hallelujah. We have to understand something, people. Anybody can make themselves sound like they're the best preacher, the best. We, we know this. They can act the part. They can be the part. They can make you feel the part. But if you can't demonstrate, okay, let's get into that where it says... Yokana. Oh, let me finish. Let me get it. Let me finish my, my, this uh, second, first Corinthians first, and then it says, "When this corruptible has put on the incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall come to be the word that has been written: Death is swallowed up." In overcoming so there's no more we have swallowed it up. it's gone the chosen the death is gone okay hallelujah and it says oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your overcoming because you will become incorruptible from the wicked you have to remember, many of us have sold our souls. Many of us have done things, okay? 
But the Most High is going to come a point where he's going to say, no longer can you corrupt the seed of, your, of Jacob, those who are chosen by Tatanzambi and Pungutlana. And it won't be everybody. That's why in scripture it says, I have a remnant. I made Jacob as the sand of the sea, but now I have a remnant that will come. A remnant of millions of people, mil billions of people can look still pretty big. But it will be considerably smaller than what we really are today. Hundreds of millions of black people get chiseled down to a f some, some million or so. Okay, we don't know the, the, the true number. The, the Most High knows the number. Okay? But it's going to be incorrupt, corruptible to incorruptible, mortal to immortal. Like that. It's not, that's what I'm trying to tell people. Isn't People think this is going to be something that's going to happen gradually. No. As you can see, everything's happening very fast right now. It's going to be quick. And people are going to be like, whoa, shock. What just happened here? That's why they have to be prepared for what's coming today. Okay? They have to be prepared for many of these, excuse me, you know, many of these changes. See, right now, this is why the Most High said it's going to catch people unawares. Right now, people are caught unawares as to what is really going on. Whoa, the Capitol got overrun by... They're arguing about Republicans and Democrats, and that's not even the purpose of what's happening right now. Christians are trying to say, oh, this is the sign that... No, they don't have a clue that Yakuba can never be below the Gentiles. And the Gentiles can never be Yakuba. That's why it was important for Satan to create a false Israel. A false understanding of who is Jews and who are not. Who are Jews. Okay, to come up with that anti-Semitic uh, uh, rhetoric because of the fact that so many have been deceived through the system. So let's go to Yokano. John. Uh, verse 14. Because like we know, we, we're very familiar with 2 Corinthians. Where the devil masquerades is like an angel of light. So you have a lot of messengers he sent out. He has a lot of messengers that are trying to get people not to see the whole picture. Okay. The king of kings is leading the insurrection against Babylon. Okay. The king of kings is leading Yakuba to safety. Fourteen, verse twelve. Yokana, verse fourteen, chapter fourteen. Truly, truly, I say to you, the works that I do. He shall also, now remember, anyone proclaiming to be like Messiah, Hamasiah, because like I said, I am in trans, I am working. Like I said, we're in the captivity. What did I say? The, the power of the Most High manifests when? When we come out of our connection to Babylon. When we, when the, as the time has come, that's why I said, we will now receive the powers that the Most High has been talking about all this time that has been altered, that we will resemble what people have seen in Africa that they try to hide as witchcraft. Okay? The Most High's chosen land. He says, 
truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, Isaiah Congo, Yapoa, okay? Now you really have to believe, and I, I mean believe. And I mean this is the this is the thing we have to realize. We have to really believe in Yisaya in Kuswa Congo, in you know Jesus Christ. Okay. I say to you, the works that I do, he shall do also. Here is the problem where so many don't even realize what we have or what we don't understand. How did he do these works? This is where the Catholicism mindset and the Christianity mindset has hidden the Bantu connection. So when we see people doing things that don't look quite right, Wait a minute. What what's going on here? Th this can't be right. I've never seen the Messiah do any of this in the Bible. Why? Because the Bible is tainted. There has been a conspiracy against the Bantus, the the the, the Yusolili. As as to how there are scriptures that literally will show you the way the Messiah did his works. Okay? This is why it's important to be in prayer and fasting and seeking the Most High and talking to Yesaya, talking to Yesaya. How did you perform your works? This is one of the things even I need to do. Yesaya, how did you do these? What did you do? Kuswa. Because obviously the system has hidden this from Yesolele. Okay. The works that I do, he shall do also. And greater than these he shall do because I go to my father. So it's very possible to look at someone and say, oh yes, this is a Messiah. But it is the fact that Hamasia is in him that allows him to do these things. The, the Mwanda. How did Isaiah do his, his works? Through the Mwanda. The power. Because he received the Mwanda after his baptism. This is why Christianity is deceived. This is why Catholicism has tainted the scriptures. Because Yakuba, you solely cannot know the greater works of these of, of Isaiah. That's why when Toko was doing it, they were like, "Who is this man?" When he was doing things, they're like, "Whoa!" Okay, and I'll go to the, the scripture that talks about that. So whenever anyone is talking to you about proclaiming themselves to be a top person in the Messiah, in the Most High's view, like a king or any or that, are they doing the things that Isaiah did, and then some? Are they doing it? Are they doing his what his his works? That's the key. That's why I said you have to be careful about the messengers, and of course, Isaiah, uh, Elias said that yes, the fallen angels can pretend to do things, which is possible, which is why you have to learn to have the discernment as to whether is this person is this being from the Most High or from Shaitani. What is the per what is the intent? Is the intent to draw you closer to Tatanzambi and Pungo Tolendo or to God? The ver the God version of Christianity, the, the Luciferian connection, the one who's pretending to be the most high. 
are you growing in spiritual understanding even in uh you know language knowledge wisdom or are you thinking are you puffed up with knowledge thinking that you have it all okay this is important Hallelujah. And whatever you ask in my name, that I shall do in order that the Father might be esteemed in the banner. Hello. Hello. Is the person who is talking to you esteemed? Esteeming the Father. Because I, Tatanzambi and Pungutalindo, Yapoa, Yaabe, is the source of the power. No one can do anything without Him. Period. Not even Yesaya. Not even the Maleki Congo. Not even anybody. It starts with the Father. So you have to understand who are you esteeming with your message. The desire esteemed his father. The Kimball went to him even though he had power. Even though he could do things with the Mwanda because he knew that's why he says, do I go to myself? People who like to always puff up the sun so high, 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 high. Not saying we, we don't diminish the sun because he is very powerful. But he said, I go to my father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I shall do in order that the Father might be esteemed in the banner. So in your spiritual journey with the Most High, is the Father being esteemed? Because I asked, I had to do that for myself. Is the Father being esteemed? Or are you esteeming yourself? Are you doing what the Moanda is leading you to do? Or are you being pulled in other directions unknowingly by powers trying to deceive you? This is crucial. Because I suffer with this every day. I know I do. Here in Kamata, we always suffer... That's the problem. Excuse me. The people who are focusing on this leadership of this world are being pulled in the wrong direction. The focus, we are, it's not about, see, the, 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 we're so focused on, oh, the United States, United States, United States. It's not, the kingdom of the Most High is the most important thing. The kingdom of the Most High is the most important thing. This is the way you get manipulated into believing, oh, your country, oh, your this, oh, your that. Building the Most High's kingdom is the most important thing. Bringing the lost sheep. And when I mean lost, I'm talking about those who have been separated from the Father. Spiritually. Home. This is the significance of what we are to be doing in this awakening. Reconnecting the spiritual portion of Yakuba to his Father. Of Yisolele, of the 12 tribes, the real 12 tribes. Reconnecting, instead of taking advantage 
of what others are trying to think. I, I, I never look for people to follow me. My role is to help people realize you need to find the sh- the good shepherd, the one, the true good shepherd, not the fake one, not that white image that doesn't is is different entities rolled into one. As people are gonna find out, the one, the true Mukongo, Cheluba, the Bandu. Jesaya, Congo, Jesus Christ. This is the significance. Okay. So I'm going to go to where it talks about. You guys, people don't even realize this is what's happening. Let's go to Revelations. Once again, it's very important to understand who your messengers are. Because they have a really good job way of, of persuading you that you are heading in the right direction when you don't really have a clue that you're actually being pulled in the wrong direction. And it will be exposed. Revelation seventeen fourteen. They, who is they? All of the world leaders who line up on the side of Lucifer in secret is they. When you go back to Ephesians, uh, let's see, the principalities, when you battle principalities, when you go to Ephesians 6 and 12, okay, I'm going to read it. This is the they. For. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And many of you people only realize this includes the people working on top of this world, Your, your, your presidents your world leaders this is why they have to pretend because they masquerade just like like their father Lucifer they masquerade but they'll never tell you this they okay so there's a war right now this is why it's begun they shall fight with the lamb and the lamb shall overcome them and this is where we're getting ready to see the flip this is Lesa Malesa I hope I'm saying that right the king of kings Yisaya Kongo Kuswa Kongo he is going to overcome for he is the Adon the highest of masters of course I mean Tatanzambi's higher and sovereign of sovereigns of this earth okay and those with him are called and chosen and trustworthy so in order to be chosen by Isaiah Congo Kuswa Jesus Christ Yes, we Hamasia. You have to be seen. You are called. You are chosen, and you are trustworthy of what? The flock. 
you are not the hired hand. You are like the shepherds that have been put there to lay down their life for the sheep. So those, that's why he's going to expose those that are running away the minute danger comes. Okay, the, the ones that he did not send that have been, let's go back, and we're going to go back to this one. Let's go back to Amelia, Jeremiah. Because you need to understand, this is why he's not, we're not, this is going to happen not by him, himself. Okay, Christianity is deceived. Big time. Because you can be a messenger just like anybody. But you have to make sure that when you're being a messenger, who are you esteeming? The Maleki Congo don't esteem themselves. That's why they say, don't even bow before us. We know. The fathers who we you bow, bow to. Even though we ha they have the power. To snap your neck in two. Okay. Whoa. Now remember. Anyone. Who is talking to you solely. In a position where they are giving. Instruction. Is classified as a shepherd. Whether you be a, a shepherd coming from Tammuz, like the shepherd god, or you are a shepherd from Yesiah, uh, from the side of Yesiah. Okay. Woe to the shepherds destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, declares Tatanzambi. Sonini nanini. There are many people right now that don't even realize, and they have not realized it until they face him, that they have scattered the flock. The intention of the Bantu awakening is to help you to separate your mind back to the truth of, this, of the culture, of the spirituality, of what has been done that even many Christians are going to be have been have been have been found. I talked to a guy. He was a, a Gentile, obviously. I was talking to a, a brother who was a Tokuist, and he overheard our conversation. He said, "Wow, you seem pretty high on your understanding of Scripture. I'm I'm learning myself." And he's this man is older than me. He's a yeah 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 to me. And he said, you know, he talked about we talked about some things that the Most High had sent him. And like I said. People are going to get it twisted. The Most High can use whomever he chooses. This man, he said, was used to start casting out demons. That would, that would allow, basically he was being used to weaken the structure of the demonic so that we as a people could wake up. The, see, people don't even understand how the Most High is doing things. Okay? He can use anybody to start weakening the stronghold of Lucifer so that his people's brains would start to change the channel to start to vibrate differently that's why he said he poured out his spirit on all flesh even the animals will tell you what time it is whoa man things ain't right right now we need to go <laughs> Think the animals aren't telling you something? Birds flying, <laughs> okay, crap. Birds dying. Animals, they're trying to tell you something's up. See, I got trying to tell you this is why the Most High is doing things that even the Gentiles wouldn't even comprehend because they're like, we don't know why. What? Why is that happening, scientists? We don't know. We're trying to figure that out ourselves because you cannot be like the Most High spiritually. In a carnal mindset. To understand the purpose. Of what this world was meant to be. In the first place. It was never meant to be a place. For us to do whatever we wanted. But we were given free will. It was always about bringing the kingdom to the top. Not our own kingdoms. 
his kingdom. Therefore, thus says Yapoa, Tatanzambi and Pongo Tlim, Lim of Yisolele, against the shepherds who feed my people. And of course, this could always be even Yisolele shepherds, because we have many pastors that have misled the flock right along with them. Okay? You have scattered my flock driven them away and have not tended to them see I am punishing you for the evil of your deeds declares Tatanzambi hello coronavirus they're just talking about another strand they claim people want to say oh this is all fake no the most high can use what he, he has we don't he doesn't have to explain to you how these diseases are created through the devil because the devil is the one fabricating a lot of this stuff remember Satan can't do anything without his permission the most high everything starts with him so if you want to know who was responsible for that riot on the capitol building the masons can say whatever they want the most high did that all of these things come through he nothing happens without his allowing or say so okay therefore I shall gather the remnant of my flock okay Christians the remnant of this is being spoken in the Old Testament. There is no Christianity during this time. So whom is he talking of whom is he talking to? His tribes. Not and not the ones that are calling themselves Jews, like the Messiah said, that are the synagogue of Shatani. Which can even include people who are from Yusolele. The true real Hebrew. Okay. And shall bring them back to their fold. So he's going to gather. And they shall bear an increase. And I shall raise up shepherds over them. And they shall feed them. And they shall fear no more. Is Yisolele still in fear right now? Yep. Nor be discouraged. Are these is these holy to say discouraged right now? Yep. Nor shall they be lacking. Don't we have some broke brothers and sisters out there? That means you don't need nothing. Everything that you ever needed is taken care of. Says Tatan Pambi. See, the days are coming, declares the Most High, when I shall raise from Dawidi a branch of righteousness and a sovereign shall reign and act wisely and shall do right ruling and righteousness in the earth that's Yesaya Congo Kuswa he's telling them because he hasn't even come yet in the book of Yemilia In his days, when he's coming now, because he is on it, he's a and Pastor Mel talking about he is ready to do this. He's saving you right now. You just haven't paid attention. In his days shall be saved, Yaounde uh, shall be saved, and Yeshua shall dwell in safely. And this is his name. Where he shall be called. And what do we call? Congo. He was the one of righteousness. Okay. Folks, we got to wake up. We have the Moabites. In Isaiah 15, it talks about they're going to be laid waste. They're being laid waste right now. 
You better check and see who come who come from the more bites. Let's go to Let's read uh Isaiah chapter thirteen. I'm gonna go through the whole thing. <sighs> because this is America's fate and Europe. And all the other people affiliated with Babylon. The message concerning Babel, Babylon, which Isaiah, which is another in Isaiah, 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 you see how they kind of match there? It means savior of Yah. Isaiah was, this prophet was also a savior. That's why they say any you can be Messiah, but then you have the Messiah. Son of Amat, Amat, Sa. Lift up a banner on the high mountain. Raise your voice to them. Wave your hand. Let them enter the gates of the nobles. I have commanded. Like I said, this is, bruh. What just happened? They went with their banner into Capitol Hill. What banner did you see? The stars and bars? Remember? Y'all can, can, look, I'm telling y'all, I know it's white supremacy, but the Most High is can use whomever he chooses to destroy Babylon, even its own people. <laughs> they, they entered the gate, the noble people sit in the, where? The Capitol building. I have commanded my blessed ones. I have also called my mighty men for my displeasure by pro my proudly my my proudly exulting ones. Okay? They proudly march, you know. See, you see what I'm saying? And the mighty men are also whom the people who are demonstrating power in this awakening, of, about showing him how displeased he is right now with the nations. The Banabetu, the, the Levi, the Lewi. The noise of an uproar in the mountains like that of many people. This is, this is about to be huge. And noise of the uproar of the reigns of the Gentiles gathered together. So all of the Gentiles right now are gathered together. They are going to hear an uproar of you sorely lay like they have never heard. Your poor of hosts is gathering an army for battle. Wait, Jesus is going to do it by himself. No. Isaiah is going to lead his army. What do we say? We're going to be changing the twinkling of a what? X-Men. The order. We, we join with the Maliki. Y'all better. I'm going to get to that scripture in a minute. I know it's 118. I'm 18. I'm going to try. Might have to do a part two, but we'll see. This is why I say you need to listen to what people are saying to you. They claim that they know that they don't you don't know who don't know scripture and who does. Okay. They are coming from a distant land. From the end of the Zulu, even Tatanzambi and his weapons of displeasure to destroy all the earth. So what does Christianity keep saying? Oh, Jesus is love. Oh, God is love. God is this. God, God, oh, he loves you. You don't even understand. The Most High is gathering an army that he is preparing to destroy the earth. Why? Because you believe that Satan was him. Period. This is your coronavirus. This is all of your, uh, 
you know, manipulation of your uh, Freemasonry. Okay, this is all the stuff that they're doing. He he's con. Satan did, did not do anything without his permission. Okay. How? For the day of Tatanzambi and Pungu Tulendo is near. So it's time to. It is so near. You don't see. If you can't see it, you are still under the deception of religion. Okay. You are still under the control of Nimrod. Nimrod is the false messiah. Osiris that he uses the other principalities like Esau because this is Esau is also the ma main spirit because he defeated Osiris because he hates Yakuba more than anything <sighs> how for the day of Tatanzambi it comes as a destruction from El Shaddai from Yatatanzambi Mpungu Therefore, all, why do you think they scared of King Kong and then still going to mock him as a girl? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Therefore, all hands go limp. Are we not? People haven't... <laughs> you, you aren't even going to be able to hold your gun up. The people talking about, I'm going to have my gun ready. Your hands going to go limp. <laughs> You're going to look at people like, oh my God, and the, and the gun drop on the ground. You're not going to be able to do, your heart going to be like, oh, God, Elizabeth, you can be doing a Fred Sanford. Oh, my gosh. Y'all don't get it. And they shall be afraid. Pangs, what, they're running for the vaccine right now. Pangs and sorrows take hold of them. They are in the pain as a woman later. They are amazed at one another. Their faces aflame. They're, they're, they're so shocked. They can't understand. My, sadly, my, I hope my sister wakes up. She can't believe it. I'm like, sis, wake up. This is meant for us. You just don't understand. My father is saying... Dad, run into the vaccine for, are you crazy? The doctors themselves don't even want to take it. Yeesh. See, the day of Tatanzambi is coming, fierce with the wrath and the heat of displeasure, to lay the earth waste and destroy its sinners from it. Okay, you know. Hallelujah. Kimball, Kimball. I'm going to stop there because, you know, it's an hour and 23. And I might have to do another one. But this is what I'm trying to say is there are many of us in this awakening that are trying to point out. Everybody's talking about what the heck is what's going on with the other nations. Like Trump and all this other stuff. And all this other stuff. And, um, you know, focusing on not realizing that we need to be unified as a nation to come together you don't understand that if you are not esteeming like Isaiah said then what is the point of giving you power why should you be able to do what he does The Gentiles, as you can see, do not esteem the Most High the way we're, they're supposed to. Or else they wouldn't do the things that they do. Their focus is always elsewhere. Birthday parties, football games, all this other stuff. Get, get my kid to this, get my kid to uh, school. And it's, it's all been created for distraction. Why? Because the focus is away from the Most High because they don't understand that that's where the power comes from. And they pretend like they have it when they don't. That's the deception. They wouldn't just be speaking in English 
And not speaking of gibberish, gibberish, nothing either. When you pray, another language comes out. Whoa, I just spoke Japanese. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kimbo, Kimbo, the Tatanzambi. I pray that and my Sambu, my Sambu Lolo, um, brothers and sisters, I pray that this is awakening that we come to the understanding that this is now the time. We. And I pray they let me go. I'm, I'm heading to Angola. I, I kept my hotel waiting. You know, they, my visa situation, I hope, you know, I never know what they're doing, but I wanted, I'm hoping I, I make it over there and, and that we can all soon be, see the reality of this because it's time. I keep, I, I've said this to my wife, I don't know how many times, I've said this to my family members, this place is going goodbye. This is your gen... No matter what Ashkenaz want to tell you, or the people claiming to be the Jews, this is not for them. Because you saw it, the Most High does not... The fact that they don't even speak the right language should prove the point. That they had to change it. Why? Why do you change a language if that's not it? What do you need to change it? Oh, this is the pure version. No. It goes back to the origin. The pure language is how it started. What Adama was speaking. <sighs> wow. Let's see. Genesis 15, verse 13, and he said to Abram, Abana, know for certain that your seed, Sammy, are to be sojourners in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for them 400 years. Nobody's been in anywhere 400 years but America, not even the fake Jews. They, if they want to claim Egypt or whatever, they were, they were not in Egypt for four. It was, the captivity, even, first of all, when they went to Egypt, they weren't even slaves. If they're going to claim that. We weren't even slaves when we went to Egypt. We went because of a, we were part of, it was a drought that caused us to run there. That our, our uh, that Josepha, Joseph, was there helping to bring us even after he was, you know, when he when he had that problem with Ben Yamun saying why bring Benjamin here and he wanted to kill Benjamin and they said oh no our father couldn't stand it okay because they had put thrown him into captivity to the Egyptians okay they he was raised up above in the Pharaoh's house how what kind of slavery is that okay there was not a slavery at that time But the nation whom they serve, I am going to judge. What is, what, isn't that why America is suffering so much right now? More than anybody right now? Why they don't want people to come? They're trying to get away from America. British Britain's following down the road because we came from them. And afterward, let them come out with great possessions. Okay, there is going to be. Let me. Uh, I, I guess I've also remember I'm, Jeremiah fifty one. I've talked about this, where he uses Yisolele as the battle axe against Babylon. This is why we keep trying to tell you. You change into an incorruptible being, immortal, unstoppable force. That nothing can get in your way with the Moanda. Okay? And if there if that has not happened yet, 
they mocked it in December when they were letting people do some crazy stuff that you know how they do, and they were making fun of them. No, when when this happens, no one's going to be making fun of anybody. They're going to be running away. Okay. Hallelujah. Kim Bukim Tatanzambi Yamazulu, Kim Fumu Kyaku Isa, Betuabu, brothers and sisters, and Sambulolo, and uh, be safe in this time and be prepared. Hallelujah. Ingeta.